Do you like grammar? I'm sorry. Today's lesson is going to be all about grammar and specifically when we use the most commonly confused and used pieces of grammar that we have in English. Um, I am Michael and this is the IELTS Grind. Now, if you want to see a general overview of grammar, specifically in the style that Philip uses to teach, uh, please check the video in the link down below. But today we are going to be looking specifically at when we use the present simple. Okay? So, present simple is very commonly used. Do you know when we use it? In what situations? I'll give you, if you would please pause the video, and then please write down when you think we use it. Okay. Because of the magic of video and pausing, we can jump right into it. Did you write down facts? If you did, awesome. If Did you write down thoughts and opinions? Perfect. Did you write down habits? Routines and frequency. Okay, these are the primary times when we're going to be using it. What we're going to be doing next is, I'm going to give you a number of sentences, and I would like you to categorize them here, to my right, okay? Um, so, which situation are we using? By the way, there is some overlap, but let's jump into it. My name is Michael. Which one of the things we listed before is it? Did you say a fact? If you did, you are correct. It is not an opinion, it is not a preference, and it is not a habit. Okay. Another example is the sun is hot. Okay. I run every day. Which one is that? Did you say frequency and habits? If you did, excellent. Here's the next one. Do you believe me? Which one is it? I know, a little tricky because it's a question, but it's still using the present simple tense. Okay. Do you believe me? This is an opinion. By the way, do you believe me? No? Understandable. Next up. I'm not married. Which one is it? If you said a fact, congratulations. How about this next one? I have a girlfriend. Again, it's a fact. I love pizza. This is a preference. And my sister brushes her teeth. This is a fact. Now, if I said my sister brushes her teeth every morning, then that would be a routine. Okay, guys. Like I said, there is a bit of overlap. Um, in future videos, we'll be giving you more practice, uh, specifically with the uh, changing of the verbs for the tense, you know, with uh, the first person singular versus third person singular. Um, and our next video is going to be all about everyone's favorite, the present perfect. All right, guys, see you next time. Remember, like and subscribe if you, saw, if you like what you see, and please leave a comment down below of some more example sentences. Good luck.